Hi guys, as usual it's me, just a voiceover and you are watching review machines, and today we will test the newest ATV, which is called Shuttle Neo. We've already made a review of the previous version of this ATV, and that video turned out to be quite successful. That is why this newest version of the ATV also should be very interesting for you. So we made this exclusive review of the machine and several toughest tests, including falling through the ice. Well, take your seats in the ATV, and first of all, let's have a ride on this snowy field. Let's go! As you can see, to make our tests even more exciting, we took three machines with different characteristics. Yellow one is a new ATV just from the factory in the standard version. We took it to learn more about the construction of the vehicle. This one is also Chateau Neo, but this ATV had already gone through numerous tests and adventures. We prepared the most severe task for this machine. And finally, we have today the previous version of the ATV, but with huge modification, with automatic transmission and 200 HP engine. And before we start our test, let's have a closer look at the construction of this ATV. The ATV has a steel articulated frame, consists of two sections. The whole body is made of aluminum, coated with a protective paint. Probably the most significant feature of this ATV is an articulated steering. The sections of the frame are manipulated by hydraulic system, and such a solution results in a smooth handling and better off-roading capabilities. The weight of the machine is 1800 kilos. The length is 4 meters, width and height are 2.5 meters. The ground clearance is 68 centimeters. By the way, in new version of the ATV the articulation is made slightly differently. The hydraulic cylinder is mounted higher to avoid any damages, and inner space between the sections is protected by a special durable material. So bright feature of the machine is the wheels. They are really huge. The diameter is 1650 mm, the width is 570 mm. We take for granted the central system of tire inflation, but now it is powered by exhaust system, unlike the previous machine. That resulted in high speed of any manipulations with tire pressure. For example, it takes only about 25 seconds to pump all the wheels from zero to the normal pressure. And it goes without saying, such impressive characteristics are extremely important for any all-terrain vehicle. It is interesting that the machine has not only articulated steering, but also a skid steering. Such a solution does a lot of good when you need a perfect maneuverability, for example riding in a forest. Due to the skid steering, the ATV is able to turn around literally on the spot. Besides, it's a key feature to maneuver on water. There are front and rear doors to get in in proper section. By the way, the windscreen now has a special gear that provides a better position when it's open to avoid damages while moving through the woods. The interior also has many novelties. The rear section is significantly longer and has a more considered design. Now it's enough space to fit out here two full berths. The total capacity of the machine is five people and a driver. The aperture between the sections is much bigger. In fact, we have the united space of the both sections, unlike the previous model. At the front we see two seats and the steering wheel, like on a regular car. The dashboard is mounted right under the roof, away from dirt and water. Certainly one of the most important characteristics is an engine. We have here Japan diesel engine Kubota, 1.5 liters capacity and 44 HP power, working together with manual gearbox. There is an access to the engine from inside. This feature is a must for any serious ATV. We see here the drive shaft from the gearbox to the axle. Beside there is a chain drive from the axle to the wheels. 
There is the same construction at the front section. Also we see here the brakes and the blue tubes as a part of tire inflation system. Well, of course it's exciting to examine the construction, but it's time to have a ride. And you know, the ride in this ATV is even more exciting. According to the official specs, the maximum speed of the machines is 45 km per hour. Maybe not so impressive, but quite enough for an ATV. By the way, there is one test that is considered as the toughest and one of the most important for any all-terrain vehicle. It's to escape from an ice hole, and today we have all the conditions to make this test. Now we are on the bank of the large and powerful river. There is an ice hole in the middle. It almost never gets covered with ice due to the strong current. Now we see some snowmobile crossing this glade. What a reckless doing, I should say. But get back to the point, it's our turn now. Even in this awesome ATV it's rather frightening to get into the ice hole. But anyway, the machine moves quite confidently here, thanks to the proper tight tread. The maximum speed on water is about 6 km per hour. Meantime, we see the ATV moving from water on ice without serious difficulties. So there is every reason to state that Chatun passed this most important test. Let's get back to our bank. The ATV swiftly moves on this crushed ice. And such a performance results also from pneumatic diff locks. They can be switched on by pressing a button on the dashboard. Actually, we can say the Chatun has all the most effective solutions to tackle any off-roading. Huge wheels with tire inflation, all-wheel drive with diff locks, articulated frame, Toki diesel engine, all this stuff make this ATV an ultimate off-roader. Well, I think it's enough of water tests, let's move to other trails. As I promised now, I'll show you another very interesting modification of the ATV. In fact, it's a previous model, but it's exclusively made as a single unit. As opposed to the standard vehicles, this one is equipped with the engine 200 HP, working together with automatic transmission. The result is worth our attention, I should say. The ATV takes off way faster, and it has higher maximum speed. While we were riding this machine, we faced thick bushes. We didn't want to get back, so the only variant was to cut our way right through the bush. At such moment, the protective paint does a lot of good, and the machine cutting its way almost without any marks on the body. By the way, the machine with many gearbox is able to move on the lowest range with a speed only 1.5 km per hour, but with the highest torque, like a real tank actually. But at this moment, our driver didn't notice the tree and crushed the fender against it. The result is on your screens.
Meantime, our new ATV is taking part in rescue operation. There was quite a serious ascent, and some car completely wasn't able to climb this hill covered with snow. So now we see the ATV towing the heavy 4x4 car, with about 2.5 tons weight. Frankly speaking, it's not a planned test, but it was interesting to see the towing performance of the machine. And now it's high time to speak about the prices. In its standard version, the ATV costs about $60,000. It's interesting to see in the comments your opinions, what you think about the price and how you like this ATV. And now let's call it a day. Thanks for watching guys, please consider subscribing the channel if you like this video. It will be many more interesting materials here. Goodbye.